Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. How are you all this Monday evening? Yes, it's Monday. I had to think about what day it was. Um, I'm doing well. Went back to work today. Uh, I had to go to the dentist today. I chipped a tooth and uh, yeah, way in the back here. So that wasn't very comfortable. Anyway, um, here I am with another Dollar Tree haul and I have the winner of the, let me see if I can say this right, the Julia Jewelry Giveaway. Um, I did it with um, the random comment picker from YouTube and I wasn't sure how to film that pick. I tried to do it when the girls were here and it just didn't work out. So I just did it. And what I did was I took a picture of the winner so that I could show you guys that I actually did it so you don't think I'm like some scam artist or something. If you see my color going off and on, I have the Olympics on the TV and I usually turn the TV off when I do my hauls, but I'm really like glued to the Olympics. I love watching the Olympics. I like swimming. I like gymnastics. Those are my two favorite to things to watch. Um, and they're swimming on tonight, so I'm watching that. Um, anyway, the winner of the Julia Jewelry Giveaway was Sheila McDonald. McDa oh, sorry, McDaniel. And this was her comment. You can see, start the raffle and pick random winner. And there was her comment. There was 115 total comments. And Sheila said, wow, they have some beautiful stuff. Too bad I can't afford them. Also love your new ring you got. Would love to win item JEWW0062. So I contacted Sheila and she sent me her email address. And I am going to send that to the Julia jewelry company. I have to say that slow because I screw it up every time. Um, I'm going to send her email to the company and they are going to contact her and uh, work out getting her her piece of jewelry that she won. So maybe hopefully in the future if you watch me again they will um, offer me another piece of jewelry to review and maybe give me and you another chance to win. Um, that would be awesome. So I'm really happy Sheila won. She's been a long time subscriber and uh, she said she never wins anything like this. So congratulations, Sheila. And to the rest of you, you know, I am, I wish you could have all won. You're all so special to me. And uh, I thank you for watching my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and uh, stick around for a while. We have a good time chatting here. Well, I do all the talking anyway, <laughs> of course. Um, so, hey, you guys, I was super excited to find the new wall stickers. I have them featured in my um, thumbnail, but wow, you guys, look at this. Look at these. You know what? I'm going to have to turn this TV off because it's reflecting on these and you won't get the full beauty of these. Hang on one second. All right, there goes the TV. So, you guys are going to love these because I went through, they, there's a whole bunch of different ones. Um, and I picked up a couple of each one. Uh, I picked up two of this one. It's a silver background with a black scrolly color. And uh, does it say how big these are? Let me get my, excuse me, again my uh tape measure you guys are like oh god shoot why does she do that stuff but you know i i am what i am as Pi uh, popeye says they are uh about eight they must be eight by eight i would think yeah they're eight by eight okay and like i said this is the first one i got i picked up two of this one you know, I really would have liked to have gotten more of each one, but there's so many different ones that I just said, let me just get a couple. This one I got, 
One, two, three. I got four of this one because I thought this one was super pretty. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that one. Then there's this honeycomb one, which I got three of. Oops, there goes one. It's uh, like a honeycomb. And they like connect to each other. You know what I mean? They, this black is not part of the honeycomb. So I'm not really sure how I would use these, but I got them. This one, I loved the color. I love this color blue. I bought four of these. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, and it, the, the camera isn't even doing it justice. It's just so pretty. I love the blue background. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Then this one is also, this one's blue and white. I got four of this one. But that was really pretty. That would make a nice background in your kitchen, I think. So I got that one. This one I is the same as the background, the backsplash that I did in my kitchen already, but I picked up some more. Well, this isn't exactly, I think, the same, but it's very, very similar. So for those of you that liked my backsplash this one is a lot similar to the, the uh, that one this one has um more of like a really light tan in it where mine is all gray and um white and black but it's very similar and i liked it a lot then i got this one i got four of this one because i thought it was really cool as well trying to get this so you can see it it's so pretty i don't know the colors there maybe there we go there we go and it's like a pink love it love it love it love it oh there's more honey there's another honeycomb there's two more honeycombs is that the same as that one yeah it is all right, so I got more of the honeycomb. This one, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, but the colors were just so pretty. I thought Caroline might like it. Look at that butterfly. Isn't that so cute? So stinking cute. I got two of those. Then, I, like I said, I'm telling you, they had a ton of different designs. This one I got uh, one, two, three, four, five of. And I, yeah, this is not doing it justice at all. But really pretty. This is white with like a silver. I don't know, even know how to describe it. It's just so pretty so pretty and then i got this one i got uh hmm, five of this one i don't know why i was like different amounts of each one this one i thought was super pretty as well see the silver really super super pretty and these are hang these were in a display a special display that they set up where they're hanging do 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 and then underneath there i'm going to show you these other ones that i got the bigger ones this one I got a whole bunch of. Looks like about 10. I got this one, the subway tile. Love that. Love that subway tile look. I think you'd really need a lot of these to, you know, do something like that. You need a lot of these because it's cut out and they have to fit into each other. Do any of these, do these all show? Oh, they do, but I can't go back now. I can't go back now. Hopefully you look at them up in the top right corner is a picture of um, what it would look like on a wall. This one is also sort of like a subway tile, but it's got that metallic effect. Really pretty. 
Love that one as well. One, two, three, four, I got five of those. You know, I was watching another hauler the other day and she was making me dizzy. She, she was, you know, this, I just got this. And I'm like, will you just hold it still? So I can see what you're showing me. Um, did I show you this one already? I thought I did. Yeah, I did. That was the first one. That was the first one. And then the last one is this one, which I thought it's got like a rose gold kind of thing. So pretty. Love it. I got three of those. Okay. And like I said, they were hanging up in a special like display section. Well, when I found them in my store, they were just piled up in the um, tool section. But then once um, the manager of my store saw them, she knew that they were supposed to be displayed in a special display. So she set them up really nice. And then I found these, which are, uh, these are, says I don't know how big they are. 11 by 16, 11 by 16. And I picked up, oh dear. Four of this one. Look at that tropical, tropical uh, scenery. And these are very big. Like I said, they're 11 by 16. You can use these for crafting. You can use them on a wall. You can use them to change out like those backgrounds of the, those signs I had that said, I think, gather, thankful, blessed. I think that's what they said. I don't remember. But I told you I wanted to change out the backgrounds. I could use these for that. Then I found this one, which I thought was <clears throat> really nice. So pretty. These are so nice. Look at that one. Love the colors in that. Very springy and bright. That one. I got this one, picked up three of this one, kind of looks like a, a wood floor. And then this one is similar to it. I'm going to show them next to each other in a second, but I really like this one a lot. I got a bunch of this one. I think I got like 10 of this one. Looks like the uh, white weathered planks of wood now this one and I'm going to show you the uh, the one I just showed you they're just a tad bit different but this one's darker than this one I really like this one a lot more so I got a lot more of that one but very pretty both of those and this one is my absolute favorite I bought like I don't know 15 of these maybe I don't know, but I want to do these, do this out on my breezeway. I have the subway tile on one side and I want to do this on the other. Oh, look at these. What? What Dollar Tree? What are you trying to do to me? Absolutely love them. Like I said, I picked up a whole bunch of them and they're 11 by 16. And they show you on the back how you can use them. You can use them as an accent wall. You can put them on the back of a bookcase. You could line the step, the under part of your steps. How cool would that be? I love these. Love, love, love them. And they're by Main Street Wall Creations. And it tells you exactly how to put them on. Easy peasy. So you guys get out to your Dollar Trees. Start looking for these. Because I saw someone else haul these. And uh, I was like, when are we going to get those? When are we going to get those? I was so excited. And when we finally got them, um, I was so excited. I was like kneeling on the floor. Because these were in like a basket type thing on the... In the... um tool department they were just like piled up like this high 
And I was like, how many different ones of these are there? And I'm like flipping through it. And I'm like, excuse me, excuse me. When people are trying to get by, it was crazy. It was crazy. I was down on the floor on my knees, but I was like so super excited. And a couple other sticker type things. This I thought was just the cutest little wall decor. Be happy. Be happy. Isn't that beautiful? And I know right where I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this in my upstairs bathroom. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Then I picked up, oh, there's my receipt. There's my receipt. You know what I'm saying? I went a little crazy. Um, I picked up this ceramic sticker for a mug. I got two of them. One for Caroline and one for Madeline. So they can, I'll give them a, get them a white mug from Dollar Tree and they can make their own little ceramic mug with unicorns on them. That's theirs, put that over there. I got this for the girls to put on a mug for their father, king of dads. I also got this one that says, best dad, dad, you're one of my favorite parents. So you could make two different mugs out of that. Very cute. And then I got these stickers. You and me, our story to the moon and back. Sweet, my best friend. So maybe if I do some kind of thing for my friend Connie. It's got my best friend on there. You and me. <clears throat> if I can make some kind of little um, album from our trip to Florida. And these are by Crafter Square. They are paper crafts, pop-up stickers. They don't, the whole thing isn't really popped up. Like the O and the E and you and me are popped up. But the rest of it is all flat. Loved those. So I got those. Nine pieces. Got those. Let's see, the last couple craft things I bought was, uh, I got a couple more metallic markers. Uh, I picked up a white one and a silver one. They have these all the time at Dollar Tree. But I wanted to use my black sticky notes that you guys sent me. Thank you, those of you that sent me them. Thank you so much. And uh, I've been using like a gold one on it, but I really wanted white and silver. And I know I have these, but they're in my craft, whatever you call it, in the basement. And I was just not about to go searching for them. I said, let me just buy two more. You know, you can always use them. So uh, I got those. Then in the um, kitchen section, let me go there because I don't think I have much. I found these placemats. I love them. Aren't they gorgeous? I thought they would go really nice with those... Um, the uh, dishes that I just got. Now, here's a better look at it with, you know, I bought four of them. This is all four of them. They really had one. They had them in a couple different colors. I'm kind of tongue-tied here. This one I liked because it went with my dishes. I thought the dark blue would go with the dishes, but they had one that had like a turquoise in the pattern and I really, really liked that one, but they only had three of them. And I was like, well, I could buy two of those and two of these. And then I was like, oh, would that look weird? Would it clash? Blah, blah, blah. It was a big old crazy time for Kathy. I was like, you know, what's up with this, Kath? So I went with this one. And they are like that, you know. I don't know what kind of material it is. Does it say 70% PVC and 30% polyester? The kind you can just wipe off with a wet cloth. You know what I'm saying? So I like these a lot. I got those. Um, in the home department, da, 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 
I got, I found this canvas, which I wanted to send to my friend Linda from Linda's Thrifty Life. I believe that's the name of her channel. Uh, she loves Paris. And I saw this and I immediately thought of her. I hope she doesn't have it yet, but that's my plan. I want to send that to her. It has like a gold on the... This is not showing good, but I don't want to take it out of the plastic because it's not for me. It's gold and it's um, the Eiffel Tower. They also had Big Ben. Mm, I think that was the only two that they had for Europe. Then I got this one for myself, which I'm going to take out of the plastic for my laundry room. Maybe I'm going to take it out of the plastic. Maybe I'm going to take it out of the plastic. I thought that was cute with the, you know, metallic, metallicized laundry room. And then it's got the little basket, wicker basket with the floor. Just thought that was really, really pretty. For my laundry room. Wait, let me put Linda's thing over here with the other things that I'm going to give to people. Then I picked up these two frames. Now I'm looking at this one and it's kind of jacked up. That's going to have to go back. But I picked up this frame just because I thought it was so pretty. I love the gold. I mean, I'm, I would have really liked it better if it was silver, but I love the like pebbled look pattern. And I thought I could put some nice eight by tens in here. I picked up two of them, but this one has got like a mark on it. So I would probably return that one. Whoops. But I thought they were pretty. You could use these for diplomas or for photographs. You could do some kind of creative thing with them. But I love that design. And this one here, as you can see, has a little... Well, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see it. And I'm a bug about that kind of thing. One little knicker thing that's wrong. That'll be going back. That'll be going back. I'll just keep the one. Then I found um, these round mirrors. There's my TV and my camera. There's my camera right there. Um, I found these round mirrors. I thought maybe I could do something with these. Um, you know, maybe put a sticker or something on them for the girls' rooms or... I don't know. I just thought... I haven't seen round mirrors at the Dollar Tree in a while, so I grabbed them. There's always something you can do with those. Uh, what else do I have on the home front? Do, do, do. Oh, I have these glittery candles. Now, I thought this was silver when I got it, but the more I looked at it, it's purple. It's got a purple candle, and I don't know if that's showing purple at all, but sparkly candle, one wick. Of course, it's three ounce, I'm sure, just like all Dollar Tree ones. These are two and a half inches in diameter and 2.7 inches tall. And I got purple because I know Caroline likes purple. What little girl doesn't like purple, right? I got the red. I thought this was, you know, kind of Christmassy, but my kitchen's red as well. And I got the gold so pretty so so pretty and this one's like a yellowish on the top so i got those what else did i get oh these i thought these were so nice for a dollar if you have a beach um summertime theme going on look at these uh ceramic pieces starfish and they're like that on the back. But they had this one. They had... These were just so pretty. I love this one. And that's what it looks like on the back. Hollow. 
but so pretty. And then this one is the same color as this one, but it's a different design. So they had two blue. I can hold these without breaking them. That'd be awesome. And the white one. Just so pretty. I love that shade of blue. It's like one of my favorite shades of blue. That kind of like grayish blue. Love those. So if you like beach theme, they have those at the Dollar Tree right now. And I think that is all my home good stuff. I uh, got a little bit of food. I showed you guys this before. The Minute Rice Vegan Southwest Pinto Beans with white rice and vegetables. Um, Albert really liked these, so I picked him up four of these. Because they're easy peasy. You know, you just um, remove the film completely from the cup, place in the microwave, heat on high for 90 seconds, stir and serve. Can you get any easier than that? I don't think so. And you know, man, easy peasy. So I got him four of those. Let me put these in his bag for his to go bag. I also found these, which were new. Um, they're Kami brand and Kami, I'm guessing. Soba stir fry noodles. Fresh cooked noodles, heat and serve. There were three different kinds. This one was the Soba stir fry noodles. And there's the easy prep directions on the back. I don't know that he has a wok. I got the... Thai ribbon stir fry noodles. And these are pretty good sized packages. It says they're, oh, there's two packages, two 7.1 ounce pouches. Is that what this one is too? Okay, it's two pouches. That's cool. I could keep one and I could give one to him. Ah, see, there you go. You learn something new every day there, kids. Especially on this channel. And there's the, uh, <laughs> That's the soba stir fry noodles. And then I found the Hokkien stir fry noodles. You can see that. So I can hold these off together. Those were the three kinds that I found and I was super excited. I was like, whoa, something new at the Dollar Tree food section. And these are good until September 18th. September 14th and September 23rd. So you gotta eat this one first and then this one and then this one. If you want them to stay fresh. <laughs> I also got, uh, found the Dove pudding in the milk chocolate. Remember the other ones I got were milk chocolate peanut butter. I got two of the milk chocolate ones. I haven't tried this yet. If you've tried it, let me know down below. Then, I, or if you've tried any of this food. Um, this was out before, and I don't think I ate it. I think I donated it to the food pantry, but I might try this. This is sub sustainable plant-based protein. It's by Loma Linda. It's a Hawaiian bowl with pineapple and brown rice. Complete meal, ready in 60 seconds, non-GMO, gluten-free, and it's got 13 grams of protein. And it tells you how to prepare it on the back. I just never got around to eating it. And I was like, yeah, let me sit, send this to the food pantry. It's been sitting around here long enough. It was still good, believe me. And this is good till June 9th of 2022. That's what I mean. And I kept looking at it in my pantry and I was like, you know what? Let's just donate this. But this time I might actually try it. I was like, ooh, it's back. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a nut. What can I say? I picked up some George and Tom's cake ice cream cones. So we can have a little ice cream party with those ice cream plates and um, napkins that I got. We'll have a little ice cream party. And these are good. They also have the... Um, Sugar cone variety, but I got these because these I like these better. 
These are good until November 13th of 2022. So apparently ice cream cones last a long time. Can keep them till November of next year. So I got those. That's all I got for food. Then I got, I found this men's grooming kit. I think this has been around in the Dollar Tree before. It's four pieces. You get a comb, tweezers, little finger nail clippers, and some scissors. And I got that. I was thinking about giving it to Albert for his birthday, but I guess I forgot I got it for him. So it may be a Christmas present or it may end up for some other uh man gift gift for a man i don't know i might just give it to him who knows but it caught my eye and i said you know what i think i'll get that and i'll give it to albert for his birthday so maybe it'll be an extra birthday present yeah why not i'll give that put put that over there give that to him he can keep it here because he's always here then i found caroline some cutie patootie Hair clips um, and elastic bands. You get two, four, five, seven, eight, ten, twelve. You get twelve elastics and two um, barrettes. And I was looking for some cute barrettes for Saturday when we went to help my niece move. They had these kitty cat ones. Lo this is like a rubberized thing. And then you got the like uh, ponytail holders there. They had a kitty cat, unicorn. What do they call that? Catty corn. I almost said unicat. <laughs> it's catacorn. They had um, these little cute, cute, cute pandas. Try and get the reflection off that. And then... We did use one of these on Saturday. They had a unicorn. I found the catacorn first, and then I went down the aisle a little bit, and I found the unicorn and the panda. So I got one of each of them for her. That was those. These are those. Use my English properly. That'd be nice. Um, I picked up some isopropyl alcohol because Caroline and I did tattoos. One of you lovely ladies sent us a tattoo, uh, some tattoos and Caroline wanted to do tattoos. So we put tattoos on the back of our hands and <clears throat> needless to say this, that wasn't this weekend. This was the last time they were here. Um, needless to say, I could not it says on the package, doesn't come off with soap and water. It comes off with alcohol or baby oil. So I had to go to the store Sunday night of that weekend and get alcohol and baby oil because I didn't know which one was going to work better um, to get them off. So I didn't go to work with kitty tattoos on the back of my hands. So that's why I picked up some alcohol and baby oil. So now if we do tattoos again, I know I can get them off before I go to work. Uh, I also got, uh, I did find the green 60 count placards. So I grabbed them. I know I got the blue ones with the 30 count, but I saw those and I said, let me get them while they have them. I found this by Bolero. The packaging caught me, of course. It's Energy Boost Gentle Face Exfoliator with vitamin C and cucumber in a three ounce. And look at how pretty that packaging is. I hadn't seen anything like this by Bolero before. Face Exfoliator. And then also in that same packaging, they have facial moisturizer with vitamin C and cucumber. So it's a set. And then they had facial cleanser in a five ounce bottle. So you get the exfoliator 
the moisturizer, and the cleanser. What a cute little, you know, gift that would be for someone. Real pretty. Love the packaging. Bolero gets me every time with the packaging. I've been trying not to buy a lot of Bolero because I got stocked up for a while with Bolero. And I said, you know what? Not buying any more Bolero. I'm getting a hot flash, guys. Hot flash. Okay. And I got these uh, little hair clips by Sophie to have here for the girls in pretty blue colors, blue and gray. And uh, these are by Hot Eye Candy, which is not a Dollar Tree brand. So it's always good when you can find name brand stuff at the Dollar Tree. Speaking of which, I found the Brillo Basics All-Purpose Foaming Cleaner. Um, what does it say on it? Use in the kitchen and bathroom, on counters, cupboards, doors, floors, appliances, walls, windows, woodwork, ceramic tile faucets, showers, and toilets. Can also be used outdoors on cars, boats, grills, and patio furniture. So it basically cleans anything you can think of. But it's the Brillo Basics All-Purpose Cleaner. And it's Brillo, which is a name brand, and it's a 12-ounce can. And it's three times action. Powerful foaming action. Cleans and deodorizes. Easy cleanup. So we're going to test that out. Brillo had a whole bunch of different things that they came out with. There was starch. There was polish. There was, I don't know. But this is the first time I saw the all-purpose Basics, Brillo Basics All Purpose Foaming Cleanser. Cleaner, rather. All right, now I have toys. I picked up a couple more of these trolls, little thingamajiggies, because I haven't seen the yellow and the blue before. And I showed you guys before these outside cases um, flip out and become glasses. So they're always fun. And then you get a little troll doll inside. Tiny Dancers. Trolls World Tour. That's what they look like. And there are 12 to collect. I don't know if we have all 12. Because I've gotten them different times. But they have them out again if you're looking, if your kids are into trolls. They're out again at the Dollar Tree. Then I found, um, doo -doo -doo, I found this new Make It Blocks storage case. Look, it's got the um, like Lego type thing on the top. And then let me open this. It came in two colors. There's um, a red top with a blue bottom. And then there's a blue top with a red bottom. And you just open this up and you put your Legos in there. If you didn't want to use it for Legos, you could just use the bottom for whatever you wanted to use it for. Um, earrings, bracelets, anything you have that you want to keep separated. Um, you can just use that as a tray or you could use it as a tray and still use this as a top if you're a, a Lego fanatic. But it comes in two colors, and I did get both. I only bought one to begin with. And then um, I saw that there was two colors. You know, one the blue or the red up top. And I was like, let me get both. Why not? But it's not in this haul. It's in another one. But here I am flinging my thing around, like saying how I hate that. Um, yeah, so I got them in both colors. I thought they were cool. So you can build on here and then, you know, take this off, have your Legos, build on here if you didn't have something else. And, you know, it'd make a great gift. You get this and a couple, uh, three, four, five of those packages of um, Lego blocks, make it blocks, whatever they call them at the Dollar Tree. And uh, it'd make a cute gift. It's, you know, all packaged up nice. It has this nice little packaging to it 
put that and some Legos in a gift bag and you got a party gift. I could even take that back if I wanted to, but I'm not because this is for here. So I got that. And these I thought were too funny. Look at these little things. They're called uh, noisy guys. Okay, and I picked it up and I was like, okay, what does this do? I'm squeezing it. I'm like, there's no on off switch on the bottom, but it does have this little pull tab, right? So I'm like, hmm. So I look at the little tab here and right there, it says pull their hair. I just thought they were too cute. I got uh, two purple ones, one for Madeline, one for Caroline. And then I picked up the blue one for Jordan. Let's see what this one, if it sounds the same. <laughs> just... <laughs> it makes me laugh. It makes me laugh. So I got the purple and the blue. One one for, uh, like I said, the purple for the girls and the blue one for Jordan. I just thought they were too funny. And they're so loud in the store. I was like, let me see how this works. And of course. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, it just echoed so loud in the store. I was like, oh my God. So loud. People are going to be staring at me. So, I got these for the kids. Yes, I did. I don't think Evelyn would know how to use it. She might. She's pretty smart. But her and, her and uh, Caroline can share. They can share. That's going to their houses. I mean, the pro Car Caroline and Evelyn will probably end up staying here. Because I buy them stuff thinking they're going to take it home. And I'm like... Do you want to take your things home that I got you? And they're like, no, let's leave them here. I'm like, really? Take them home, please. There's so much stuff here now. All right, so now we're at back to school stuff. I mean, not all of it is back to school, but it's stationary back to school. Found this pencil case. Got it for Caroline. She's going to be going into first grade, little Miss Caroline. So I got her a purple one. Just thought it was really pretty. And if she, if her mother's already gotten her one, I'll keep it for myself. I like the little design on the top. You can always use little cases like this. Because I found these again, which I really like in the clear, but they didn't have clear. I asked my manager if we got clear. She said, nope, she didn't see clear. But I got these containers. They're, these are by the teaching tree. And they're these flat containers. They have a little snap holder here. They open up and they are little storage containers. They came in, oh Lord, you want me to remember what color they came in? Uh, blue, green, pink. I got two pink and two green, and these are for me to store like stickers and stuff in. Um, orange, maybe? You know Dollar Tree does everything in fours. So there were these two colors and I think blue and orange, but don't quote me on that. Because if there was a yellow, I probably would have got yellow. And if I could find my measuring tape, there it is. All right, measure these for you. They are 11 by eight. They're eight by 11 and these are great for putting stickers in. Um, you could keep any kind of craft. Um, what do you call it? Anything you need to, you know, organize craft wise, um, stickers, uh, 
I'm just going blank. But anything you wanted to organize, you can just, you know, write on here what it is and just stack these puppies up like that. And you don't even have to be able to look in them. They'll have written right on here with those washable markers. Or you can put a sticker on here, what's inside. So, love these. I was hoping to get some more because I needed them. There's a, all kinds of stuff to separate and organize. So, I got those. Those are in the school section. As I said... They were teaching tree. Got those. Um, I found these. They have these pretty much all the time, but I've never seen them in purple. The mini composition notebooks. These are great to keep in your purse or whatever. Um, my friend Connie loves these, so I got her these. It, purple and yellow, and I don't know what the one in the middle is. But I, she likes to use these for note-taking. So I got these for Connie. My bestie. Hi, Connie, if you're watching. Um, I got these little notepads. They're like a hard bound. And they look like a little book. And you open it up. And you get the long notebook. A notebook. Long notepad, you get a smaller notepad, and then that notepad, and you get a pen. What a great gift this would be. Right? And then closes. And, hmm. You know, I thought it was had a elastic to keep it closed, but it doesn't. And yeah, I just thought that was so pretty. I got that. These are great little gifts. You know, if you just want to go to somebody's house and you just want to say, hi, I'm just here. Here's a little something for inviting me over or whatever. Haven't seen you in a long time. This one I thought was really pretty. It's like a navy with blue and white flowers on it. And then look at the inside. Isn't that pretty? So, so pretty, 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 pretty. Those were, I think there were four of this as well, but the other two were like, eh, so I didn't get them. I didn't get them because I got to, you know, I try to keep myself in check when it comes to notebooks because I could go, I'm obsessed with them, so I could just go nuts. This is a two pack of notebooks. The plain one in the background and then the pink background with the tropical. Um, the one is 8.27 by 5.63. 32 ruled sheets. And then the smaller one is 5.71 by 4.13. And that's 32 ruled sheets. You can see that up close. I love this. And of course, so you can't go wrong with aqua. So I got that. Two for the price of one. Absolutely. Um, this, I had picked up. Um, these are the pens that change colors. Um, you push the little thing down and it changes colors. I found a Minnie Mouse one and an LOL one. They had no boy ones. I found this one for Jordan. It's um, Jurassic World. So now I gave Caroline hers. I put the other one in Madeline's bag. And this is going to go in Jordan's bag. Because I have bags of stuff that I get for them. And then when I go to see them or they come here. Because I don't see them as often as I see Caroline and Evelyn. Um, I give them their little gift bag. I found these Jojo Siwa pencils. Caroline's a little obsessed with Jojo Siwa right now, but um, there's six of them in here, two of each kind. I thought I could split that up and give those to um, Caroline and Madeline. God, the brain is on hiatus today. Then I found this, another of those um, change color pens, and this one says B the unicorn and it's got a unicorn on the top 
just for a design that doesn't do anything. But um, I got two of those for the girls. For the girls. For the girls. Looks like that. Unicorns and then be the unicorn. But Caroline had a ball with the one I gave her uh, the other day. And then I got this. It's supposed to be a pencil holder. I think that's what it says on it. Pen holder. Why? All right. I'm not going to go there with the, why is it a pen holder? Why isn't it a pen slash pencil holder? Like you can't put pencils in here. It's only for pens. If you put a pencil in here, you'll be wrong. I don't know. But anyway, I did not get this for a pen holder. Um, I could use it for a pen holder. I might use it for a pen holder. But I just thought it was so pretty. You could do so much with this. You could put white sand in here and use it as a like faux um, cactus type thing. You could put uh, full flowers coming out of that. Put, like I said, the white sand in it. And I just thought it was so pretty. The um, ombre look, the, not ombre, but the rainbow look there. And it's kind of like that, um, what's that word? Like oil, like an oil stain. Can't think of it. Totally blank. But I got it. And you got two spots to do something with. So, I don't know. At first time I saw it, I was like, do I need another pencil holder? No, I don't. Then I started thinking about it. And I was like, you could really do so many things with this. So, I got one. They're in the, um, one store, I saw them up in the front, past the registers, on the counter near the windows, and then I also saw them in the school supply section. So, look down every aisle, up and down, top to bottom, because you never know where they're going to put stuff. Because this little cutie patootie I found um, by the registers, it's a phone stand, and look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. And I I go, what the heck? This thing can't hold my phone. So I put it down in the belt and I put my phone on it and it held the phone up. So cute. They had it in um, pink and I think the other one was blue. I only got one. But I should have got one for each of the girls because of course they have their mom's old phones that they use to watch videos on. So I should have got another one. I'm sure they're still there. The little unicorn has wings and this is like made of rubber. So they can't really break it. And the phone stands up against the unicorn. It's so cute. Like I said, I found this in one of the aisles. Always, always check all the registers, all the register aisles because they always have something up there that you know, is new and different. And they're always, usually not in the aisle that you'd end up checking out in. So I always make sure I check every register lane. Word of wisdom there. And the last thing I found was, ba-da, I finally found the bee bags. I was checking out, I was like, totaled out and I go what the bee bags they were hanging at the register because in my store um what happens is um people go in the store they take a bag rip the tag off put a bunch of stuff in it and pretend that they bought it and then they walk out the door with it so now my store keeps all their uh reusable bags at the register so I found these. Yay. Woohoo. I was so excited. I love the pink background. And these juncture bags really hold a lot of stuff. I like the black on the side. Uh, it's got the planet. It says reusable. But I love, love, love these. Love them. And they have black handles. So I was super excited to find them. Um couple other things I want to talk about. Um, I'm sorry I have your name over here. Give me one second. Oh gosh. 
It's tough getting old, you guys. It really is. Um, it's in my book here. Hold on. Uh, Teresa Worley. I found three of the Disney villain bags. It's taken me, since you sent me the package and asked me for those, I found one. And yesterday, yesterday, I was checking out. And as I said, the bags are at the register right next to the cashier. And she rang me out and got me to the end. And I was like, what? What's that bag on the top? What's that bag on the top? And I got two more of the Disney villain bags. So if you want me to send you the three that I have, I can do that. Or you can wait and hope I can find more. Um, let me know what you want me to do. Um, you can comment down below or you can send me an email. Um, my email I will put in the description box if you want to send me an email if you don't know it already. Um, and one last thing. I got some friend mail from Michelle from Orlando, Florida. Michelle Close from Orlando, Florida. And she sent me a bunch of stuff that I'm super excited about. I wanted to show you guys because it's flamingo stuff. She sent me two of the LED paper lanterns. You know I'm going to love these. Have them hung up all over. It's going to look like, a, I don't know, hang them all on a big rope or a string or something. It's going to be so cool. She sent me the inflatable flamingo. I'm going to have these all over the place too. Tons of them. She sent me one, two, three packs of the flamingo stirs. I'm going to have to try to figure out some kind of craft to make with these because I have so many of them. I want to do something really funky with them. I don't know. I have to figure it out. Let me know. Let me know what you think I can do with these craft wise. Because you can only stir so many drinks. And I suppose I could just, I don't know. I love them though. They're so cute. Thank you so much, Michelle. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Let me think of, uh, I mean, let me know what I can send you in friend mail that you've been looking for. Flamingo flip-flops. Woohoo! Never have enough flamingo stuff. Never, 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 never. Never, 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 never. She sent me two of the Flamingo Stylus pens. Love these. They write really nice. I have, um, I want to take these to work and put them in my pen container at work. Love these. Love, love, love them. Love, love, love them. And I lo love that they're a stylus thing. Works with most touchscreen devices. Ballpoint pen and stylus. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you so much. You know how much I love flamingos. She sent me the flamingo sun dancer. I love these things. I have them on my breezeway um, shelf. I have a shelf in my breezeway. And I go out. And they're like flapping in the wind. But I got the flamingo with sunglasses. Love her. Um, and she got me this, which I have not seen before. Super excited when I saw this. It's the flamingo pop socket. Love it. Thank you so much, Michelle. I love it. A flamingo pop socket. I had not seen that at all. Love it, love it, love it. And then, of course, she sent me the cats with glasses pencil holder. Pencil and pen holder. It can hold pencils and pens and markers. Any kind of writing instrument it can hold in here. And it's got the uh, zipper. I love this pattern. I really do. 
Do you remember when they had the notebooks? They had the notebooks that looked like this. Loved them. Cats with glasses. Can you love them anymore? Thank you so much, Michelle. I love it. You know what? I'm going to put my flamingo pens in my cat with glasses pen holder. How do you like that? How do you like them apples? Did your mother ever say that to you when you were a kid? How do you like them apples? Um, yeah, so thank you so much, Michelle. Um, I appreciate your thinking of me and sending me friend mail. If there's anything that you saw that I got that you want that you haven't seen, um, Michelle is my niece and she's sent me this stuff up from Florida. And I can't wait to see you in September. I'm coming down Labor Day weekend. So, um, yeah, let's make that happen. Uh, to everybody else, I hope you have a wonderful week. Hopefully I'll see you sometime this week. My cousin from Ohio is coming in tomorrow. I have a retirement party on Wednesday. I feel like there's something going on Thursday. I'm not sure. And then Friday, I'm having the girls over. Yay, all my friends are going to come over. And we're just going to chat and have some cocktails and let loose. So that's the plan. I hope you all have a great week. Thank you to everybody who watched the Julia Jewelry video and commented. And congratulations again to Sheila McDaniel. And I will send your name to the jewelry company. They will contact you and take it from there. Thank you, Michelle, for my friend mail. Where's my pop socket? I gotta use that. Where'd that go? There it is. I need that too. I need that too. Thank you, everybody, for watching my videos. Um, I hope you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, um, I just try to be real. I'm not promoting anything. Well, I review stuff. I'm not really promoting it. But um, I do review things that um, companies send me. I've reviewed jewelry. Oh, actually, I have a knife set that I need to review. They sent it to me. Oh, God, I don't know, months ago. And uh, it's been sitting on my china cabinet, and I just haven't gotten around to using it. So I want I don't want to review it until I use it. It's beautiful. I love it. But I just haven't gotten a chance to use it. So once I use it, I will review it. It's the Michelangelo knife set, and it's absolutely gorgeous. You're going to love it. I may even give it away after I review it because I have some cut-go knives that I use, but I don't know. I may like these better. I'll have to let you know. So that will be coming up soon, the Michelangelo uh, knife set review. Um, but anyway, whew, it's time for bed. Um, I know I always do late night uh, hauls, so... Some of my East Coast people don't end up seeing this till tomorrow. But thank you, everybody, for watching. Click that bell so that um, if you do subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified when my video pops up. If it pops up late at night and you want to watch me in the morning, feel free. Watch me whenever you feel like it. Watch me while you're sitting on the john. I don't know. Just watch me. Um, you know, find some things that you want to get at the Dollar Tree. Because they really have some awesome stuff for a buck. They really do. You know, if you told somebody that you got this for a dollar, they'd be like, really? It looks like, you know, $5 at Target or, you know, Walmart or something or wherever. You know, you can really make this stuff really look nice in a, in a gift basket or in a, I don't know. I'm rambling. It's late. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys go. Take care. Love y'all. Be well. Bye now.